All right, we're back to it here. Now we're gonna try our best not to tilt. It's the main thing you gotta do. You know, I watch, who was it, Shin, Shinzaku or something? And uh, he's really up there, rating. I think he's top 10 right, right now, at least at the time of recording. And he doesn't tilt, even when things aren't going his way. That's not the Gabriel way, is it? We gotta, we gotta reform ourselves here. So let's fucking do this. Um, yeah, bad shit will happen. You just gotta make the best plays and only be mad when you make a bad play. Ah, shit, I'm gonna be mad a lot then. Okay, I just will not be mad, okay? Anyways, uh, we're gonna, you know, hit it here. I am recording, right? Okay, good. The stag. The stag is good. The stag is good. Literally and figuratively. Uh, Geppetto or Curse King? Let's go with the Geppetto. I think they're pretty equal in terms of rating, but Curse King is so much less fun to me to play. That's a roll if I've ever seen one. Alright, well we could take that and go for that. That's decent, I feel. And, uh, you know, Rainbow Unicorn's an okay unit. You know, get this guy to a 3-3, it's fine. Oh shit, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, then there's no sense giving this guy a slay. If we're gonna lose anyway. So, sorry, Snapcaster Mage, but... I didn't feel like losing. Yeah, it's just an egg anyway, but... Same result anyhow. Uh, shrink spell, please. I guess we get a roll. Tell you, uh, it's not a really good one to freeze for. I feel like chicken's probably the correct play here. Like, Geppetto doesn't really cast spells, does he? Well, I could pay health just to scale these both by one. Uh, let's just take the chicken. We want, we, we don't want to free, oh wait. You know what, uh, fuck it, let's take it. Let's fucking take it, whatever. I could sell back, um... Wow, we actually tied, nice. I don't know that this... Okay. I think we just take this. That early of a luck chest isn't so bad. And I could sell back for the crafty. Just because it is actually okay. But I won't do this. I don't know. Do I pay two health to get this guy up to a 6-6? Six, six? Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Ooh, that's actually kind of good. Um, well, the spell isn't. Yeah, let's let it roll. I'm like, double fanny, though. But yeah, I'd rather get, obviously, uh, a peep. Wow, that is some shit. I lose by two. Well, whatever, when you have... It's not like that good, is it? Uh... Hmm. There's a peep. I don't know what I'm even thinking about. It's pretty much just peep that, right? It's the easiest choice of my life. Would I lock for these? I mean, they're pretty good units. Three and three. Three point one isn't necessarily too late for Brave Princess. Sure would be nice to actually be able to cast a spell, though. I think we just let it roll. You know, we have, like... Without a, a way to buff its attack... I don't love the princess here. I'm already getting a tier 3 treasure anyway. Well, hopefully that's the last health we ha we take. Okay. Fucking egg game in second egg I've ran into. I don't think we beat this. No, we do beat it. 
Get fucked. You are a scumbag, you damn egg gamer. Nah, it's fine. Who can blame him? Who can blame him? Another peep. Definitely not going to cast that spell. I don't think we're going to buy these. Not without a better reason to. Well, I mean, what else do I even buy here? I could roll for a better spell. Let's just buy a crafty. I mean, that's pretty powerful. Uh, I can roll for maybe a free spell. Oh god, well, that's good. <laughs> we will definitely... We're rolling well today. Now, I don't think I go Princess White. I don't know. Dwarves are so strong, and they're reverting the pumpkin change at some point, so I may as well just get used to playing dwarves, because that's literally going to... Unless they're going to also revert dwarves somehow. Dwarves are going to run the fucking world. They already kind of are arguably stronger than pumpkin, I think, but... We'll see. We will see. That kind of wrecks me. Jesus. Well, I definitely should have put one peep in the back, so my fault. Can only get mad at my own dumbass play there. I think we'll still win, just not nearly as hard as we should have. All things considered, it's only like two health difference, probably. It might be relevant, you never know. I could just take a sarcophagus uh, with plans to still just go. I think it's the only one that has much upside, even if it has zero value to me right now. Crystal ball. Sting, maybe. I guess we'll do this? I don't know. Should go back there with Peep. Get the full value out of it. Alright, that's fine by me. Um, should I go back there, probably? That's probably more ma making more sense, because if these don't die, I don't want this to attack. I mean, either way, this will attack, but... This might get, like, sniped, and then they still survive, and then it attacks, and I lose my 2-2. Two -two. It does make him, her, more snipable, though. Yeah, I was gonna, sh I was gonna put it back, but whatever. Alright, nice slay. Wrong target, bub. Okay, that works. That kind of works. It's okay. Alright, we get the glory at tier 4. It's nice. Horrible unit, though. I think we're definitely strong enough to justify this. And... As for what we do otherwise... I think we just roll... could take... I could sell for... I don't know. There's... Not really a good play here, I feel. I could try for the Fairy Godmother, but... Doesn't really have a, that much reason to be in. Now, Bearded Vulture I could do. I'd have to sell too much for it. For now, I can just do this. Do I lock for a bearded vulture? I don't think so. I think we keep going. Okay, I could do a sporko. I could definitely lock for a sporko. Sporko could replace Fanny. I mean, I know I'm getting good dwarf value, but sporko still gives more stats. And is a ranged unit itself. Wow, incredible snipe. Well, it's better that it didn't kill the peep, I guess. We, 
I hope we can win this. It looks like we should. These ranged units, yeah, if we get one of them, I was going to say if maybe they... There's probably no way they could have won this. No. I mean, nearly. Who knows? Maybe if the other one wasn't sniped immediately. But yeah, we're way ahead in experience now. We're tier 5. Guess I shouldn't have locked that. Fuck. Um, do I take it still? I don't think so. I think we roll for 5. That could definitely replace that. Um, there's the pumpkin. Definitely locking for that. So Let's start getting rid of these dwarves. Uh, let's go... Like this. It's a little premature to do this, but... Go like that. If it gets a sleigh, maybe I should go like that. I don't know. Should we try for the tier 3? I don't need a tier 3 treasure. Let's try for this, I think. Might be able to get that sleigh in the back there. I want to make sure this dies so I get some sort of that pumpkin value. I could have locked the sheep. I think that's not playing to win. We need like a neon. Okay, get the sleigh. Goes right in back into the sting position. That's pretty good. Nice. See, we got our sleigh anyway. Not bad at all. We are definitely going to win this. Well, not definitely, but hopefully. Yeah, I have to imagine we win this. Alright. I mean, what can Miri do but go Royals, right? Haunted Helm? Fancy Pants. Look at that. Okay, we definitely need some evil character. Those aren't going to cut it. Do this and lock. Ooh, definitely. Okay. So we got some good stuff coming up here. I could even take the Echo Wood, honestly. But we'll triple the pumpkin early. So nice. We're just high rolling today. You should probably go to the right, huh? No, how should this go? Like, I got the upgraded units up front so that less damage... I don't know, I'll still do enough damage to people. I've got double pumpkin. I think I don't care too much about getting the peep value. I'd rather get more... Well, I guess I do because I still only have one evil. Yeah, this makes sense. We want to get all of these things summoned to get max value. Yeah, I got two pumpkins, okay, bud? You wasted your shit. This is an upgrade. You fucker. 12.5. Whatever. Uh, we might lose because of his massively good RNG, but we'll see. And then that gets sniped, too. Jeez. So, yeah, we got, I'll take all that. I will take all the above. We got a Medusa, too. Okay, at least that didn't hit a good target. Go to the right, go to the right. Yeah, I'll still win, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Alright, now we upgrade this bitch. I'm way ahead on him and experience too. Okay, mimic for sure. Let's get rid of Fancy Pants, I guess. Echo Wood would be interesting. We, I think we just need another evil, though. So... Do we just roll again? I don't think I'll hold going into what I, whatchamacallit. Let's just go like this. Okay. 
Eh, we, we can slay. I mean, 10 health. I'm likely to die on the slay, and then we just resummon it right in the sting position. I think that makes sense. So we at least have two evils for our pumpkin. We definitely gotta start finding evil units. But the build's there, we just gotta complete it. There we go. Ranged unit right there in sting position. Nice. And it's another evil. I don't think it counts for Great Pumpkin King, though. And we get the three there. Nice. Yes. Full damage. <laughs> 18 damage. Oh, well. I didn't have enough evils. That could have been a lot worse for him. I actually wouldn't mind giving him a little health just to survive Lightning Bolt and like a vanilla Lightning Dragon. I can take this. I just need to like start replacing things. Even if they're not necessarily ideal. Yeah, even this will do. It's okay for delaying. Well, I guess Apple Tree doesn't even have attack, so. I think that was an okay turn. I probably could have done better, but I think I'm just trying to get my power spike here, finish off a horde dragon before they get too insane. I don't think I want peep in now. Like I really, I can have one, two, three, four. I guess Peep still is better, huh? Like, maybe I miss out on one summon? No. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll see. So, uh, I will say the Siren not too bad with the Sting. But, uh... We'll probably want to replace Sting at some point. Mummified... Hand, whatever, monkey's paw. Okay. Could have got a better unit, but whatever. <laughs> I would have survived. It killed the only thing it would have hit, of course. An incredible spell for him. God damn. Alright, let's fuck him up. Let's fuck him up. He is getting so much gold, but you know what? He's dead, so it doesn't matter. Be seeing ya, Horde Dragon. That's how my Horde Dragon got games have gone lately. Sixth place, it's about the average. He theoretically should be good, though, but it just doesn't happen to be. Is this worth it? It just recycles two six drops. That's typically better than two rolls, right? Doom Breath or Sting? I'll definitely do that. I can put you there. Yep, that's definitely an upgrade. Still don't think Echo would make sense, though, in pumpkin builds. Bear Steen, probably not. Baba Yaga could probably replace this. One, two, three, four. I could afford it right now. Let's just do it. Now I got a full evil board. Should go... Yeah, the siren should still go there, I think. Could go like that. Give that guy attack. Kind of like that. Weird positioning for the pumpkin, but... I think it ends up being fine. I'd rather this thing actually kill things. Like if that had attacked it, it would have been nice to kill it. Oh, that didn't help me out. <laughs> God damn it. 
This guy's RNG is going pretty well, but that was a good hit. I mean, it was a guaranteed hit. Alright. How do you like that, Waddle? That's a good hit. Could be a death. Almost. Survived by the hair of your teeth there. I think that's definitely an upgrade. I wouldn't take another one just to get a treasure. Would I take this over this because it's a five and it's a double? What if this is a siren? It's a pumpkin. Uh, either way, I think we sell for it. I just don't know now. It's still probably better than that pumpkin, right? Do I go like this, though? Nah, one is good. If I get, if I get sniped, I get sniped. How the hell is Miri still alive? With like high health. That's must have a crazy Royals build then. Typically Royals would be suffering in Final Four. Well, I guess she could make the Final Four and lose health pretty quick. Okay, pumpkin versus pumpkin. Get scammed. <laughs> Still can't hit the center. The elusive center for me, but at least I'll take the that side. Nice. That's a good slay. Wow, well, Siren has been quite good today. Oh, I got sniped. But at least I got the one slay. Oh my god, you got the double slay. You fuck. Triple slay? What the hell? How did you get three? How did you get three? Well, I don't know. Whatever, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. The fuck? Am I gonna, like, die from all these massive spellcasts? Wow. Whatever. See you later. I'm glad to not have to fight you. Again. Oni King. Probably worth adding. I guess I could put it here. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, I should have added the health. Damn it. That health spell would have totally been worth casting on the pumpkin. Alright. Time to replace Sting, maybe. Yeah, we could do Monkey's Paw. I mean, that's just the best, so... Bye-bye, Sting, but we'll, we'll go down a unit. I guess we just take off one of them. At this... Now I can I can do this, I think. I think I still do that. Yeah, this is good. We're still doing about as much damage as we were with Sting. But we'll have, like, all of these things to help. I should probably put Siren, though, in the bottom left... That's good. Yeah, see, this Royals isn't going to keep up with this. Well, we'll see. I mean, it depends on what comes out of my pumpkin, I guess, but... I'm do some Medusas and Applewoods. I'm definitely do some. Okay, we got a Medusa, Siren, that's good. What am I missing? Why don't I have... S oh, right, because I'm Monkey Paw. Yeah, they definitely got, like, pretty good stuff, but it's just not enough, see? He's gonna take a ton of damage here. In fact, he'll take all of it. Yeah, that's why... I, I mean, he got top three. I feel like top three is the best you can hope for with Royals, and he high-rolled for Royals, right? Let's see. That guy was another, like, a mage build, I think. Uh, so, 
We probably want to keep sarcophagus so it just snipes all the low health guys. Don't know that we gain much from these. Look for a combat spell or something. I could look for that. I don't know that like tripling it is that important. Hmm. Maybe we should go like this. I don't know. And what else? Well, we probably can't do a better play at this time. I took too long. Definitely lock for croc bait. That'll be pretty big. It makes it so really only polymorph can fuck me. Double. Double shrivel onto the pumpkin. I barely survive it. Again, I just can't ever hit uh, the by far the worst target for Doom Breath. Oh, we got those though. That's good. And then it polys the fucking uh, thing. It's just ridiculous. We might still win if I can get a good spell. And then that's the spell I get. Sick, dude. Okay, give me a... I don't know. I can get two of these, so... It'll at least mitigate the damage a bit. They don't come into the stats that he had, though. Wow. I should not have lost that. This guy has fork and all that. Well, this will definitely help. Could get a Grumble Gore instead of the Yaga. I th think we just do that. It's not a huge upgrade, but... I don't have any combat skills to roll for. It's not like I'll triple anything other than a Yaga, so... Theoretically, this Doom Breath should be good. Definitely the Southern Siren will be nice down there. We'll keep that guy in. I think this is the best. We'll keep it like this. Alright, so as long as I don't get fucking... Polyed randomly into the goddamn pumpkin, we should be good. Even if he snipes it with a sh uh, disintegrate, it'll... It'll, it'll live. Could buy the Medusa. I don't know. Okay, can you hit something? Good? There we go. That's a hit. Jesus. Yeah, there's can't be any way he beats me, right? I guess he could poly me again. Just fucking mind blowing, dude. It's fucking mind blowing. Scumbag indeed. Like you have to stop getting that lucky, right? Like the luck has to run out at some point, right? God damn. Do I buy that? Well, I could definitely buy this. He definitely has ranged. Well, I need some sort of a plan if I just keep getting continually polyed. Two fights in a row, he gets polyed. I think if I just find another pumpkin, maybe. What am I even looking for right now? If not double Grumble Gore. We should just upgrade, right? Yeah, that works. Doom Breath should still be good. If I can get a Slay with a Southern Siren as well. like if I lose this, it's just such bullshit, dude. Like, double fucking poly. This is the time where it's like, if I tilt here, it's fine. I can't, I don't know, it's probably not fine, but like, how can you not tilt when this bullshit just continually keeps happening? Jesus. He goes first again, by the way. Another non-center hit, but I guess it's okay. 
Oh, the only one it wouldn't... Well, okay, it wouldn't have slayed that guy either. I guess we can get the Siren out, maybe. I don't know, it's not really all that good. Okay, not really that good of stuff other than the Applewood, but whatever. I'm the Baba Yaga King. I get so many Baba Yagas. Alright, no amount of polys in the world should be able to save you here. <laughs> he double... Oh my god. Well, whatever. Can die. Okay, 70. Not bad. Not nearly as much as getting 8th, but... I'll take it. Alright, untilt, untilt. Untilt from that bullshit. It's just amazing, like, I can't think of too many times I've been polyed where it didn't hit the absolute best target. It's so weird. Oh god, Zelua. Yeah. Zelua is so broken. Imagine designing Pan, Shadow, and Zelua and thinking that they're balanced. <laughs> like, what the fuck? There's so many ways that you could nerf Zelua. Okay, I can get a free spell here. I think that's fine. Don't think I'll lock for that, though. Definitely, I mean, there's zero reason to lock for it. Share Bear, nice to start. That's like a really good turn to, uh... Actually... I am gonna lock it. Here's my thought. I'm gonna get four gold next turn. I'm unlikely to get a zero cost, uh... Spell that I can just play. So we can just do this, roll, and I can resell if anything's good. Turns out nothing's really that good. We'll just take a, uh... I could try for the polywoggle scam. Might as well go for the high roll, right? But yeah, I'm not taking those dwarves. So we're already getting there with the quest. Board's not very good, but if I get to slay at the poly, we'll be off to the races. Now, dwarves are okay with Zelua. I think you're better off not doing it. Eh, we're not going to get this sleigh. Too bad. Too bad. We could still get it. Could have helped if I got a mem, though. Okay, we'll just take two units here. It's fine. Could actually take all four. Let's take all four. Let's fill up a gigantic board. Alright, you go first. You can go there. I think that works. I would love to get this sleigh. Against a Geppetto? Well, we'll see. Maybe I should put it in the f second slot against Geppetto? I'm not sure. I think we're doing okay. That's horrible. Worst hit possible. Oh my god. He gets the best hit possible. Worst hit possible. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. Whatever. These suck. These also suck. But this is okay. Uh, got one monster. I think Secret Stash is just going to be the best. I'm likely to fucking lose. Well, I don't think we're going to get this poly off. We'd have to be so lucky. I think we just go for the, uh, go for the gold here. I don't know, though. I guess 
I guess it's still worth it. It's not like this is doing anything for me. We'll see. We'll see. I might be able to get the sleigh. If I can get that as the final hit. Doesn't look like it. God damn it. How am I just getting so wrecked here? Well, enjoy all of your gold, dude. <laughs> God damn, Andy gets fucking experience. Well, cool. I don't even get my secret stash. It's like as bad as it could possibly fucking go. Could not go any fucking worse. Let's do this. Alright, so let's put together some evil bullshit. I'm so dedicated to you. Um... Polly, I'm so dedicated to you. I need you to come through. I need it. I need you to do something. It's like such a... I mean, it's like, what else do I do? Put pig in? I guess I could put pig in. Give... Uh, it's pup, though. I'm probably going to lose to pup. Let's give him only one gold instead of two gold. I want to lose anyway, right? I mean, if I want to lose, why do I prize pig in? There's no good play. There's just no good play. Right? I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. How about that? How about that for a saying? Yeah, your slave, of course. Just a whole thing of supports. I haven't been offered a single fucking support. Just throwing that at fucking out there. Alright, secret stash, activate. Can I just get not... I hate playing pig. Pig always does this to me. Just giving everybody in the lobby fucking tons of fucking gold. Alright, let's hard roll for experience, I think. I'm not going to find anything here that's going to help me. Okay, we could hard roll for dwarves, I guess. Let's just get rid of this shit. Hard roll here. Okay. Do I lock for those going into four? Honestly, I think I will. So... It was an aggressive play, but I needed to make an aggressive move because I was my board was so bad that I was just, I'm just gonna like die in a few turns. So at least now I have a, a path forward. My board is technically better, and uh, you know I got it done here. That's I had to make use of the secret stash. It's about the only thing on tier three that I think I could have a good chance of making work, and it ended up working out. But of course, could have failed spectacularly. Okay, he gets no slay. That's good. And we lose our support. It's not good. Dare I say, we might win this fight. Well, we at least don't lose. It's the best I can hope for. Okay. I probably shouldn't have freezed, but you know what? Whatever. Hard rolling for dwarves still. I want to get this quest done kind of ASAP. Uh, take that. Okay, there's a dwarf. It's not the best one, but I'll take it. I could sell the both of them, or the three of these, to get the quest off. I don't think I would do that, but I would take the other... I would lock for the other lucky, I think. It's iffy on four, but if I'm guaranteed this quest and a double that can help me get my economy back, it's better than just not hitting on any doors. It's not a strong play, but it's a play. 
it just really would be nice for the, my actual tier 4 doors that I care about, aka Tweedledee, but to some degree also Greedy, to have an extra double buff from that stat. So I really want that uh, quest done. Plus I just want a treasure. We're definitely not winning this fight. Go right. You suck. Okay, let's see even the one that got cost reducted. Perfect. <laughs> Lucky knew which one to do. Well, these really don't help me at all. Like Ring of Revenge is just so bad. If I get a Tweedle, it's okay. I think I just go for the greed here. Really hope we get some dwarves. It's not really a good enough one to buy at this point. There we go. Now we're fucking talking. He has the most attack. He actually should go first, I guess. Okay. Um... I'll lock for it. I could get... I'll get a tier 5 for it. I mean, that's good, right? It's no, there will be no Dwarven Forge, but... Dwarven Forge is 4, right? I need to actually... I need to... find that stuff. Alright, Share Bear. We'll get money into next turn, too. I am wondering if I should take white out, though. I also should have moved Fanny to the left, I think. This Fanny on the right should be to the left. But, uh, this is fine. They're so beefy that the Fannies could die. Luckily, it's just sheeps that they're hitting. It's about the best scenario possible for me. Damn, this guy's beefy. We beat him, though. Beep is creepus. Monkey's paw? It's honestly not the greatest with uh, doors, because you kind of do want a full board. I think we just take the Drac Saber. There's enough summons right now that I think that ends up making sense. I am going to move you there. Ooh, nice. We could take a wish as well. Deep Stone Mine's pretty clear cut. Um... I would have to sell Tiny for it. I don't mind doing that. It's not like he adds that much. It's not the best turn to do this on, but I, I do want to do it. And if I win, which is possible, you know, I do have a good treasure. Tell you what, though, we should go like this. Get a kill early. At least get some, potentially, a buff to the Tweedle before it pops. I think that makes sense. We'll have her in the bottom right to do max damage if we can. Of to their HP. Okay, that's fine. Good. We're getting definitely some value. We're definitely winning this fight. We're winning it so hard. I'm never gonna lose a guy. I'll lose one guy. 16 damage. See, you can remove pumpkins. Dwarves are ridiculous. You start high rolling like this on dwarves. And uh, they'll be taking plenty of damage. I don't think I'll lock for a greedy. 
can want to now just hard roll for Lordy and Angry. That sucks. I mean, we we flew through tier five there, but uh, eh, I don't know. We'll still have time to find uh, Angry. I definitely think Angry is better than Bossy. Bossy doesn't seem that good of a tier five. But yeah, we got an okay setup here. Hard roll for Lordy, though. Lordy is definitely the big one. Yeah, I don't know. So, on that note with the pumpkins, though, it's like, you can see here, I'm dealing just, just probably more damage than I would right now, rolling similarly into a pumpkin. So, when there's even, like, less tier 5 stuff to even contest dwarves, like, dwarves are going to run rampant if they don't also nerf them with this pumpkin buff. Like, we'll see. This is a pretty good... Geppetto build, but I don't think they're going to beat us. Like, what would Geppetto be able to do um, normally without pumpkins right now, right? Baby Bear would be his best bet. That's not going to do much against my 80-80 fucking doubly here. His only hope is to really get some good spells. It's an okay one. It's not really enough, though. That's a good one. Uh, not really. It didn't give him any permanent buffs to his actual units. Unless Sporko was. I don't think he was. Was he? No, either way, 15 damage. See, 15 damage. Dwarves. Like, if, you had to, if anything, you need to nerf damage. Just nerf damage. Why not? Okay, we're not ticking that... We're just hard rolling for dwarves. Could take the free roll, maybe. Guess I could take that. Do I take that for chance at tier 6 treasure? I guess so. Does not want to give me lordy, does it? Or even angry, bossy, anything. Any doors, really, other than tier 2 doors, apparently. I'll lock for this. I mean, with how hard it is for me to find doors, fuck. Okay. Should maybe go like that. No. I think we want max damage on the first guy. Okay, I mean, we're working with some health here. As long as we get some kills, the Drax Saber should be alright. Yeah, look at this. Second in the lobby. Getting absolutely demolished by dwarves. 16 damage. We have dealt 15 or more damage to three people in a row. Pumpkin's not the not the pumpkin is a problem. It's not the problem. It's fucking damage. Like, honestly, I think he should cap it at ten. Taking more than ten in a turn when you only start with forty health seems reasonable to me. Uh, nope. See, I even still think about going the uh the thing there. I could go YOLO. I don't even think I do. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, none of these are really all that good. If anyone's going door, even Gloves of Thieving is not really all that good. Let's just do a Moonsong Horn. Could do that. I, I'd rather just roll. Don't think I'll lock for that, Tweedle. I really do need to get... Like, this is kind of ridiculous that I can't find any Tier 5s or 6 dwarfs here, but uh, like I haven't seen a single one. I think we really just need to hard fucking roll for it next turn. Time's running out. My power spike is kind of nearing its end. Or at least get a triple here or something. Okay. 
I arguably should have just not taken this, sold and kept rolling. I could have at least even just bought this Tweedledee then. Because Moonsong Horn doesn't do anything for me. Plus one, it's just a plus one, plus one. It's like a power orb. Oh well. I'm that much closer to Dormant Forge. Wow, we are wrecking this guy. This is the top in the lobby. 12 damage. Still too much in my opinion. It's too, too much. I'll take a Neon. Probably... He was like an animal build. Probably no on that then. Are there dwarves in this fucking game? I'm the only one going dwarves too, right? That we know of. There is an angry. Alright, let's take that. That can replace... Lucky, I think. Get that double health there is pretty nice. Could cast a shrivel. Try to finish this guy. Sure. Just let the game naturally roll after that. Could also get my uh, Drax Saber off to a nice start. The only thing the Angry is a little weak on is there's not too many dwarves on, but I don't think I gain much by putting Lucky on right now. I just want to win fights, and if I'm giving 20 health to this guy, he'll probably survive a lot of damage. If this guy truly is still in summons, he's going to get a lot. A lot of value. Even with just four dwarves on the board. Well, by the time this video comes out, the pumpkin change might have already happened, so... We'll see if my predictions are correct. This is only like day three after the new month, February 3rd, right now. And I have to queue these up. Oh, that guy definitely got shrecked. I mean, I've done... how So, 12 minimum the last five rounds of, I've done of damage. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. This guy has some weird puff puff build. I'm, I don't know what he has, but I'll just cast this for one. Why not? Not gonna buy that, I don't think. Uh, let's just keep going. Is Lordy in the game? I wonder if this guy might be fucking uh, dwarves at this point, because there's clearly not many dwarves in the game. I can't find any. Okay, there we go. Well, bye bye, Moonsong Horn. <laughs> Maybe not. God damn. Well, I could take Monkey's Paw for now. And just play down a unit. Play down that, I guess. Should go like this, I think. Lordy, where are you? Lordy, lordy, lordy. You fuck. I wonder if I need this. What if I just put this in? Like, do I gain a whole lot from 10 health versus I can get 4-4 four, four to another dwarf? Put him up front. I think I like that more. That I do like more. And actually I'll get potentially some econ out of the lucky. Oh, that's a good spell for me. Or meteor good artifact for me. Huh. I don't know what the plan here is. It's not gonna work. Alright, 11 damage. Keep our 10 damage and more streak alive at 6 rounds here. Alright. This guy's just probably running pumpkin. 
They had a weird monster build. They're probably looking for pumpkin. I could be evil and just take pumpkin if I see it. This is not too bad, is it? Just give 4-4 four, four to everybody at the start for no money at all? Sure. Alright, so there really should be no contesting on the dwarves, and I just can't find them. I cannot find a single lordy. Do I just lock that in? Continue to roll and just not find fucking lordy? Jesus, dude, come on. Get the fuck out of here. Do I put Echo Wood in? It's definitely good in a dwarf build. Though without a lordy, it would be good this turn. I'd have to sell all of that for it. I'd rather keep those for the treasure potential. Like, I I do eventually want to le get out of this bunky paw if I can get a lordy. Because I'm going to benefit more from not having that paw. But who knows, we might just finish him here. Well, he's got some pretty big shit. I don't know what this build is. Just kind of random amalgamation of high stat stuff, I guess. Oh, we lose. Not by much, but we do lose. We do... I mean, if it's not going to give me Lordy after 50 fucking tries, I don't know what more I can do. Keep this in the... Oh, boy. Come on, dude. Give me something. Like, even a bot... Like, okay, fucking finally. Jesus. So I get two, two for each. That's, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's better. It's the same as having Monkey Paw. So now we just need a treasure to replace that with. It's only a double, but the Angry might be worth putting in. What do we sell for it? I could just sell the fanny. I don't gain a whole lot for that. Let's put the angry in. I could mix this, try to get the uh, six cost treasure. Do I lock for a double on doubly since I'm having such trouble finding shit? That I don't know. And he's got some, some big stuff up front. It's angry, might have trouble getting a kill. Yeah, I should have put angry in the first slot anyway, though. Okay, that was actually good for me. Would have not been good for angry. Yeah, that's really good. We are maybe gonna win this one. Okay, and then that gets to attack, and then this will get attacked. Perfect. My plan is working perfectly. Now this angry can get some stuff. Well, not really. No, no, that's dead. But we should win. Now we just need to do that a few more times. Eight damage. Could just do this. I mean... It would make me about double as powerful. I don't think so. I think that's not playing to uh, to win here. Here we go. Okay, what are we gonna sell here? The neon, because this represents more a better treasure probably. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, I should have just sold the lucky. What am I doing? Moron. Okay, there we go. Let's get the lucky paw out of here. Ivory Al. This fight might go on a while, and that will give me some permanent scaling. I guess I would do this. I'll do that for sure. Could sell for... Should I, should I lock for hi-ho? Maybe. Nah. I don't think I'd lock for Tweedle either. I should have put another doubly in, huh? Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're gonna win this one pretty hard. 
Oh my god, I'm getting so many stats. I think we'll be doing 14. Oh. Not too good for him. Yeah, he was... I I've been in this position. It's like you just can't get a good theme going. Might as well just go boring dwarves. Okay, the premature clap. I, I thought for sure he would have took damage there, but whatever. If I lose, it's karma. I could just get out of Zelly one now, but I don't really know that that would make any sense. Uh, shrivel almost could work. I suppose so. Wasn't the greatest of turns. We basically just got a shrivel. <laughs> That's all we did. Okay, Echo Wood. Should Echo Wood go in over something? I think so. That could be pretty good. Let's go Echo Wood here. Yeah, I think that's all pretty good. It should be a W. Definitely a W. Should actually put Echo Wood there, probably. Got a kill. <laughs> Wait, did you actually cast that? No, that was from the book, right? Yeah, that's from the book. All right, definitely old man hand clap now. There is no way this is beating me. And since he didn't clap back, okay, I was gonna, I was gonna BM, but you know what? Clap. Fifty? That's it. Come on, bitch. That should be fucking illegal. If I can lose a hundred fucking twenty for eighth place, just because I low roll into high rollers. Well, whatever. There you have it. Uh, turns out. Dwarves bust. So we'll see if the pumpkin reversion happens at the time this video goes up, which I think will be like the 10th or something. We'll see if my prediction's correct. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.